Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Math. In this tutorial, we will learn how to write a matrix and align equations on a particular character. For this, let us first open our example writer document that we created in our previous tutorials. Math example 1 dot ODT. Notice all the previous example formulae which we wrote using math. Now, let us scroll to the last page of the document and press Ctrl Enter to go to a new page. Let us call math by clicking Insert Menu, then Object and then Formula. In mathematics, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers or symbols which are called elements. Math has separate markup to represent a matrix and its rows and columns of elements. I have the examples written already so as to save time. I will copy and paste them. Now we'll learn how to write the 2 by 3 matrix. This matrix has 2 rows and 3 columns. We will use the markup matrix and include all its elements within curly brackets in the formula editor window. Notice that the elements in a row are separated by one hash symbol and the rows are separated by two hash symbols. Use parenthesis to enclose the matrix in brackets. Now notice that the brackets are short and do not cover all the elements in the matrix entirely. They are of the same size as each element and hence are not scalable to the size of the matrix. To solve this, we can use the words left and right. That is, left just before open bracket and right before close bracket to make the brackets scalable. Let me copy and paste the next example. So, a 4 by 1 matrix will look like as shown on the screen. Notice the scalable brackets in the writer grey box. The markup for the matrix is as shown on the screen. Here, we can also use square brackets instead of parentheses. So, using the matrix markup, we can write matrices of any dimensions. Now, let us write an example for matrix addition. Let us go to a new line in the formula editor window. We can press the enter key twice to add two blank lines. First, let us write two example 2 by 3 matrices side by side as shown on the screen. Next, let us add a plus symbol in between these two matrices to denote addition. To do this, we can simply click between the gap of these two matrices in the writer grey box. Notice that the cursor in the formula editor window is placed roughly between the two matrix markups here. Type plus in between these two matrices. So there is the plus symbol. Next, let us add an equal to symbol at the end with long gaps. And then the third matrix on the right denoting the addition. Notice that we have used Greek characters in our example. So there is the result of the addition of two matrices. Let us save our work. Next, let us see an example of multiplying a matrix by a number. 
we will write a 2 by 3 matrix and multiply it by 4. We will first write 4 times followed by the matrix. Let me copy the matrix and paste it in FEW. Next, let us write the equal to symbol at the end with long gaps, followed by the matrix product. I am copying and pasting the markup for the matrix product. So there is the product of multiplying a 2 by 3 matrix by a number. Now we can format matrices by clicking on the format menu and choosing the font, font sizes, alignment or the spacing. For example, let us choose spacing. In the category drop down on the right, let us choose matrices and change the line spacing to 20% and column spacing to 50%. Click OK. Notice how the matrices and their elements are well spaced out. Let us save our work now by clicking on File and Save. Now we can also use matrices to write two or three equations and then align them on a particular character. For example, we can write simultaneous equations and align them on the equal to character. Let us write a set of simultaneous equations now as shown on the screen. Notice that they are not perfectly aligned on the equal to character. So here we can use the matrix markup to align them. We can separate each part in the equation and treat the parts as elements of a matrix. Here 2x is a part, y is a part, equal to character is a part and so on. Press enter twice. Copy and paste the markup. And thus the new markup looks like as shown on the screen. Here we have used the matrix markup, treated each part of the equation as an element and separated them by hash symbols. We have used the double hash symbols to separate the two equations. So there is a perfectly aligned set of equations. Let us write another set of equations. Here, let us suppose that we don't have equal number of parts on the left and the right of the equal to character. Notice the equations on the screen. And they are not aligned on the equal to character. Let us rewrite the markup to align them. Press enter twice. I am copying and pasting the markup. So here we have used align R and align L to align the parts to the right and the left of the equal to character. And there is our perfectly aligned set of equations. Here is an assignment for you. Write steps for multiplying a 2 by 3 matrix by a 3 by 1 matrix. Use formatting to change the fonts, sizes and the spacing. Write a set of three equations. Align the equations at the equal to character. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on matrix and aligning equations in LibreOffice Math. To summarize, we learned the following topics. Write a matrix and align equations on a particular character. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. This project is coordinated by SpokenTutorial.org. More information on the same is available at the following link. This script has been contributed by Priya Suresh, Desi Crew Solutions and this is Soundarya, Desi Crew Solutions, signing off. Thanks for joining.